Hello YouTube, this is Furious Maximum, and today we'll be looking at just one mod in particular, Unified Clothing Overhaul, abbreviated UCO, by Andrew CX. It's compatible with the PS4, and can be viewed on the PS4 mod pages. The following footage you'll see is PS4 footage, but that mod needs one additional mod to work called the Armor and Weapon Keywords Community Resource, AWKCR, which is also found on the PS4 mod download page. With these two mods installed, you'll be able to adjust armor and weapons in new ways. So here we are at Anne's Arms, Armor, and Attire at Sanctuary. And you'll see that the armor equipped on this display mannequin has a different appearance and a different set of names. Here's another mannequin with a slightly different set of items, such as that black rain beanie, not a standard item. You'll notice the armor bench and the armor smith bench. The armor smith bench is added by the mod and it lets you create armor and clothing from scratch provided you have the right resource materials. So here we are, manufacturing a few new pieces of clothing and armor with which to test our ability to modify using the mod in question, UCO, which stands for Unified Clothing Overhaul. Now let's take a look as we use the armor workbench, which now has an expanded set of options. You can adjust immediately the caliber of your armor. You have decals you can adjust and place on your armor in addition to there being more of them. Ballistic Weave is available through the Railroad Quest Line, pardon me, Railroad Quest Line as part of the main storyline. But this mod allows you to apply it to a wider range of items. In addition, you can rename items without them having legendary effects. And another awesome effect of this mod is you can remove legendary effects off of armor and weapons, store them as mods, and install them onto other pieces of armor, as you see here. And later, when we get to the weaponsmith and weapon workbenches, you'll see weapons will have this same effect as well. Now you can rename your armor and your clothing so that you can better identify it, keep track of it, and give each bit of armor and clothing its own unique flavor, well suited for either your own playstyle or the settlers who are equipped with it. As you'll see later at around the eight minute mark, settlers and provisioners can also be equipped and display your custom clothing. So pardon the slowdown in my narration, as I'll just let you watch for a few minutes as you see a couple of examples of this mod in action on certain pieces of clothing and armor having different decals, decorations, or abilities put onto them, as well as different primary and secondary color swaps and other cosmetic alterations to the clothing's appearance. As you can see, this renamed vault suit also has a legendary effect added to it. Now you'll get to see how it looks when placed on a display mannequin so that you can see that this mod causes items mostly to display correctly. I haven't had any problems with it so far. Now there can be 
some visual problems with this mod as it will let you apply armor pieces over otherwise full body pieces such as lab coats or drifter trench coats so causing armor to be placed over clothing like that will cause graphic breakers but you can experiment with it and remove it if you don't like it you'll notice these two workbenches visually look the same but one is a weapon smith workbench and one is a classic weapons workbench the weapon smith workbench like the armor smith workbench lets you create weapons from scratch provided you have the appropriate raw materials this here is the weapons workbench and it functions as it previously did without the mod only it has a greater array of options again i'm placing mods onto the weapon which allow for legendary effects pardon my stuttering let me say that again you can take legendary effects and remove them from other weapons that are dropped by enemies and keep in mind you still have to find them being dropped by legendary enemies but once you do find a legendary effect that you like you can remove it from a crappy weapon like a pole hook or a rolling pin and put it onto something more suitable like a combat rifle or goss rifle or minigun if you're so inclined now I'm just using a basic combat rifle here and I put the VATS action point cost reduction on it to make a mildly badass rifle. Here I'm just going to make a small rename adjustment to the pool cue so that you can see other effects in action, mainly the ability to rename weapons. Now we've come across a provisioner and we're going to allow our provisioner to be a little bit better armed for her journey between Sanctuary and Red Rocket. Quite a long trip there. It's a, it's a dangerous two block walk across that bridge. Not quite the best example. However, this does serve as a good example of how altered and Altered clothing and modified clothing can be displayed on the settlers and provisioners that you choose to give this equipment to. You'll notice the change in her appearance. Her combat armor now has graffiti on it, her vault suit is a different color, and she has different headgear. And you can do this for all of your settlers if you want your settlements to have a unique look. Hopefully, this review and this mild tutorial proved somewhat informative and helpful. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for viewing.